Here we are, part two, Keyboard Maestro. Working in the timeline, there are a couple things uh, when I've been working in Final Cut 10 that I really liked, and just a couple things that annoyed me about working in Avid where I just thought there was too much clicking. Uh, and how could I minimize that? Uh, I also thought there were shortcomings with uh, the way I could configure keyboard shortcuts in Avid. As good as Avid is with the keyboard, there are limitations, specifically how much you can really do using the control option and command keys uh, to map your keyboard. Um, so just going down my list here, a couple of things. Um, one is showing and hiding your audio data or audio data in the um, in the timeline. Over here, a lot of people might hold down the option key and click these various uh, buttons to get um, to get your various audio data to show up. Um, that's a lot of clicking and it's tedious. They're small buttons. Um, of course, you can map those to your keyboard. Um, you can show hide your waveforms, show hide your gain, show hide uh, your keyframes. Um, all with keyboard shortcuts natively in Avid. That's great. But what you can't do, or at least I, I don't know how to do, um, is, is to show turn everything on and everything off. Because typically I find I either want to do something with my audio, in which case I want all the tools available to me, or I, I want it out of my way. And so with Keyboard Maestro, I can map that so that everything comes on or everything comes off at the click of a button. Very helpful. Another one, uh, this isn't related to audio so much, um, but uh, frequently you might want to open up uh, space in your timeline. And people do this a bunch of different ways. The most common would be you'd select all your tracks, you'd blade everything, and maybe you'd grab everything to the right and uh, shove it down to create a space. Uh, another common way is that you'd, you'd go up here, you'd load filler, and you'd insert that into your timeline, open up space. Um, all of that is a lot of fuss uh, to me, I think. Um, so I created a shortcut, which no matter what tracks I have active here, I can just hit a key and it's going to automatically put filler into my sequence wherever my playhead is and I can open that up. Another one that I find helpful is uh, to set audio keyframes. So if I turn on all my data here and let's say I'll just zoom into this section, I want this bit of audio right here to uh, dip down. Well normally I would have to go uh, click click, 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 uh, lasso, pull it down. It's a lot of little tiny steps for what is a pretty simple and super common operation. So I created a thing where I can mark an in, I can mark an out, I can hit a key, and it'll just put these in for me, and I can dip the audio that way. Again, that is saving me uh, a number of a number of moves uh, that I don't have to think about. I literally just say, okay, from here to here, I want my audio to come down. All right. So, and another one, oh, head and tail dissolves. So let's say I just cut in a piece of ADR down here on track two and I know I want this to have fades on the head and tail uh, coming in and out so that I don't have any pops. One keyboard hit and I get dissolves on the head and tail of the clip. Um, that's also handy if you are maybe adding a, a title of some kind. Um, Let's see here. If I added like some visual effects tag or something, again, I can I can just add those dissolves so that it fades in and fades out very easily. Um, and then lastly, 
Uh, something that I find handy is sometimes I will want to checkerboard my audio, meaning you've got alternating tracks, say track one and two, uh, for uh, some dialogue scene or something, right? Um, maybe because I, I a lot of people like working this way because you can avoid clip collisions when you're moving things around and trimming and stuff like that. But it's a bit of a to-do to kind of set it up. Um, but with Keyboard Maestro, you can get like 90% of the way there uh, pretty quickly because you can set up a, a shortcut that's going to extend the head and tail of these clips. Um, oops. It's going to extend the head and tail of these clips. Um, and real quick, you've got uh, the beginnings of, um, you know, your, your checkerboard. Anyway, uh, those are some of the things that I've come up with that I found really handy. And uh, yeah, thanks.